What is up guys, Amp here with the very first episode of Freeze Frame. This is going to be a lot different than my regular commentaries because I'm not going to be talking the entire time. I'm just going to let you watch the gameplay and every once in a while I'm going to pop in and tell you my thought process during that part of the game. So today I'm going to bring you some Black Ops and this is from a competitive ladder. Um, it's over on FragNation.com. Uh, we're doing some stuff for a tournament and this is just doubles. So the big difference though between MLG settings and this tournament is that it's going to have tack inserts allowed. So keep that in mind when you're watching and uh, let's go ahead and get started. Destroy the objectives. So my first situation is that I can see both enemies here in bottom control. Now I've already used one of my stuns and it didn't have any effect, so I'm kind of limited on what I can do here, but uh, I'm just going to make sure I use some cover and uh, let's see how it pans out. So since I'm getting stunned here and I will continue to get stunned, I'm just going to sit here down on the ground prone and wait for the guy that I know where he is behind that rack of computers or tape recorders or whatever you want to call them. He's down behind those, and uh, I know he's probably going to pop out on the other side, and so I'm going to just wait for him, see if I can get the kill, so that uh, we can e I can even it out if I die. The bomb has been planted. So here I'm defending B, and since it's almost impossible time-wise for them to defuse, the question is whether to stay here and pick up a straggler if there's one that comes by, or should I expect both of them go to go to A, and are they going to overwhelm barbecue? So I have to make a decision here whether or not to stay here or wait for a second and then move over to A. Bomb is armed. So, now that I know there's two dead after killing Bomb Planter, I need to make it sure I get a good spot to camp the bomb site with, but I also need to stay a little unpredictable. But this can also work when you sometimes use a predictable spot, but in a certain way, or just straight up using a predictable spot because, oh, the other guy might not look there because he knows, oh, that's too predictable. So just make sure you, you kind of spice up what you do and uh, remain unpredictable, pretty much. stay hidden I shoot this guy a little too late to actually get the kill so I'm gonna have to be smart with my movement here to make sure that I can actually finish off this guy so that I don't get killed on the bomb site and the barbecue has to pick up the slack so watch how I sloppily finish up this kill but still with some pretty smart movement Now we're spawning on defense, and I changed to the FAMAS just because we're going to have sort of longer range engagements, especially if we're in defensive positions. So I decided instead of going with the 74U, I'm going to change it up and go with the FAMAS red dot, get a little bit more accuracy on it so that uh, I don't screw up any shots. Demolition. Defend the objective. So 
So from my desk screen here, I can see both of their red dots on my radar because they're both shooting at barbecue, and he's probably going to die. So I know they're going to both be coming to B. As soon as I spawn, I'll be the only defense at B. So I'm going to make sure that I get over there, get a good defensible position, and make sure I take him out. After getting two down, I'm going to try to camp this tack insert. Now, in the back of my mind, I know that there's probably another tack insertion underneath the balcony because that's where uh, I either saw it in my death cam or barbecue had called it out so that I know both guys are going to be on balcony side of the map, catwalk side of the map. And so I'm going to camp this one. Uh, barbecue ends up destroying it, so we have to move up and try to take out this other guy. After seeing the enemy's head from my position, I'm going to have to make a little bit of a prediction. Is he going to go to control, is he going to go to balcony, or is he going to backtrack and go down the summit side? So this enemy's position where I saw him and all these three options should be called out to my teammate so that he can make a decision based on where he is. But I also have to make a decision on my own on whether to move or not and also make sure that I sound horror the area so that I know whether he's going to be coming up behind me or whatever because it's a very volatile sound area where I am. Okay, now I have my tack insert over near B, so I can be a little bit more aggressive because I'll be able to spawn near the bomb site. Well, I'm still going to be playing smart, so I'm going to make sure I cover all of Catwalk's side with my eyes and my ears. Like I said, it's a very volatile area for sound, and with some good callouts, B will remain safe, and uh, let's check how it plays out. With B planted and the knowledge of where the enemy is headed, I use this on my new spawn, but with an unfortunate result. Using a little bit of an unpredictable spot, mainly because I don't see that many people there that often. Um, maybe I'll start using it in competitive and catch people off guard as well. Bomb is armed. Bomb deactivated. Barbecue having traded kills down at A, I know there's still probably going to be an enemy there, and he's most likely going to be planting. If not, a check on the bomb may get me killed, but it would also allow Barbecue off his spawn to reach the bomb before the can my killer plants it. So going for a bomb check right off the bat is going to be more of a benefit than not.
since I'm the only one alive for my team and they were too dead for the opponents, I'm going to go ahead and watch the most traffic spot from their spawn. And when Barbecue spawns, he's going to cover my back. And hopefully I'll be able to hear people coming on Summit Path as well so I don't get flanked. Having missed the guy drop from balcony to bottom control, I pay the price. Fortunately, Barbecue is at A, and he's available to clean up the kill after I get it called out. Man down! Need the evac! The bomb has been planted. Since A was just planted, and I can see where Barbecue just died, I'm going to tactically approach my viewing out of this doorway, but it didn't quite pan out as I had hoped. After picking up one kill, I know the other enemy will be closing in fast, so I pull off a quick defuse attempt out of reach of most nades that would be thrown at the bomb site from either summit path or bottom control. Bomb deactivated. With both enemies down and barbecue set up in control, I move to a position on summit path so that I'm not easily nated from the spawners since they already knew where I was sitting last time. At this point, I'm in a position of disadvantage. I know that at least one player is in bottom control, and he's most likely going to spot Barbecue's tack insert based on where Barbecue died. So I have to fend for myself here, and hopefully I'm going to take him by surprise at the window, being in this vulnerable position. And I know I can get some good shots on the guy if he comes up to the window. They destroyed your tactical insertion. Time's almost up. Since the game is pretty much over, we're going to be a little bit more relaxed, but if there's one more last good push from the other team, they might be able to win the round. So at this point, it's important for us to stay hidden until you know you can get the kill, so that we can take one down at least, and so they don't get away and get the plant. But in my case, I'm going to go ahead and push up and make sure I can catch one of them off guard, so that make sure we guarantee the win. Well guys, that concludes episode 1 of Freeze Frame. I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully you learned something from this gameplay. I really want to do this thing more often, so let me know what you want to see. Do you want to see some more Black Ops? If so, what kind of what game type do you want to see? Uh, what map do you want to see? And also, do you want to see some Halo, maybe? Some Reach? Maybe even Halo 3? Just let me know. 
Uh, I really enjoyed playing this game in competitive 2v2. Uh, 19 and 10 is not a bad score for some 2v2. So, I hope, again, I hope you guys enjoyed, and that was Demolition on Summit. And I will see you guys in the next freeze frame.